Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this one. I think I say that about all my videos, but this one I've had in my head for so long. Hello, you can see me. So this is a faux mirror, faux rose, heart DIY. Absolutely love it. I've made it to just reflect some light back in my bedroom in a really dark nook in the corner of my bedroom. And I absolutely love it. And of course, you would have seen these in previous videos. If you haven't, I will link them below. And it's all part of my Valentine series. So if you'd like to know how I made this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous interior decor piece, keep watching and let's go. So everything you will need to make this DIY is right here. I have used, um, I'm going to back it onto this thick foam board, which I got from the range. I got four sheets of that for £10. It's a very large sheet. Don't really know the size, but it's massive. It's like a metre long. I'm using some thick card. This is actually watercolour card from my watercolour pad to cut out the paper heart to start with. I'm using my cutting mat to cut it out. You will need your hot glue gun, additional glue sticks, and of course, your mirror, your mirror tacky back, which I got from Wilco, and all of these roses. I got these roses from Amazon. I bought a pack of 50. Now they are quite flimsy foam. Um, they're not expensive ones, and I think they cost me about six pounds for 50 of those. And that is pretty much all you'll need. I'm also going to use some ribbon to tie up with at the end. So the first thing I need to do is draw my heart. So of course, if you guys are confident drawers, just go ahead and draw your heart any which way. I'm really not when it comes to symmetry. So I'm actually gonna do old school. I'm gonna fold my card in half and I want to get the biggest heart out of this as possible to just really fill up the paper. So that's my first job is to fold that in half and then draw my heart this way. And then when it opens up, it will be a perfect heart, she says. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cut that out now and see what that looks like. Perfect, perfect for my size, perfect for the size I want. Um, hand wise, it's probably two less than two hand lengths, so it's not very, very big, just big enough to add that bit of light that I'm looking for. So my next step with this heart is to transfer the outline onto the mirror contact paper. So if you've never worked with mirror contact paper before, I cannot recommend this stuff highly enough. I don't know if this is a brand or what, but I got it from Wilco. Um, it's super thick, really, really thick. And the backside looks like this. So it's really easy to just, if you wanted a really perfect square or anything like that, you could easily do that with this. So I'm just going to lay this out across my table. and lay my template of my heart down. I want to, minimum wasted really, minimum wasted. So I don't know if you can see that properly. Right up against the edge. I really, it hurts me to waste, <laughs> to waste this stuff because it's such good stuff. And then I'm gonna hold it really carefully down and draw around the edge of this. Okay, so that is my heart drawn onto the back of my mirror contact paper. If I hold it up that way, it looks much more symmetrical. So now I'm just going to cut this out. Easier said than done when the paper constantly curls. <laughs> my mirror heart and if you have bought this stuff before you'll know that all of this is a protective film so you peel that off right at the end of your project so I am going to stick this down right now to my board and then peel off that protective layer after I've stuck it down, it's actually stuck itself. I didn't want it there, but that's okay. I'm going to rub it along, sorry for the wobbly camera. Rub it as I stick it to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. 
You could use your hands for this or a tea towel, whatever makes life easy. Okay, and that is that stuck on to the foam board. Now really my next step is quite a straightforward one. I want to peel this off. Um, I'm a bit nervous in case I get hot glue on there, but I think if I'm super careful, I won't. But my next step is to cut it out of the foam board. I want to leave around about a two inch, I think, maybe one and a half all the way round and all the way round this side so that I can stick those roses onto it, slightly overlapping the mirror so that I can't see the edge of the mirror when I'm looking at it. Two ways of doing this, you can either confidently hold it up in the air and just cut around if you're super confident about that, or you can put your cutting mat below and just safely, <laughs> safely cut around the edge. So I haven't got a giant cutting mat, I've only got this one, but I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty sure if I put it there, then I can roughly gauge that two inch gap. So I'm just going to start right like this and just drag my Stanley blade down the edge, knowing when my mat has run out. And I'm going to maneuver it until I've completely cut around that edge that you can see here. with that actually really really happy with that so that is my mirror frame size in its entirety and now the next job would be to peel this protective film off because I'm worried I might not be able to get to it once I've stuck the roses on so that's the next thing to do and then I'm going to put my hot glue gun on and get ready to stick the roses I am going to remove the film and because I press record before grabbing it oh there you go I've got it so this is what it looks like you can it's not a perfect mirror but it is Saturday morning and I'm in no fit state to be seen but this is the mirror hello <sighs> it's almost like that hall of hall of mirrors you know so this is what um, the vision is like through this mirror card so it's really not bad at all just to add some reflective light into a space I'm gonna start on the inside edge closest to the mirror sticker and then work my way out with any gaps. of the roses done I love it already <laughs> I love it already so we have a huge gap here I'm gonna go in these gaps and add the remaining roses for me to do really is to add the ribbon at the top and I have got a very swoony swooshy romantic heart mirror and I just want to fold it over like this and hot glue it on the back and of course the back of this board you will see it's actually been used before for other projects but no one's ever gonna know Oh, 
Okay, and there we have it. An absolutely easy, one of the simplest DIYs. Oh, I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna hang it on the wall now and we will see it in all its glory. And this is what it looks like hanging on the wall. This is not where it's going to live. It's actually going to live in a really dark nook in my bedroom, but I haven't painted the walls yet, so I can't put it up. But oh, guys, I absolutely love it. Now, of course, it would look even better with a real giant heart mirror inside, but guys, this is the easiest DIY ever, and I really hope you love it. Super romantic for Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. If you do like my content, don't forget to subscribe and give me a big fat thumbs up. And if not, just comment down below so I can hear from you. Thanks again. Bye.